Hi, I'm Andrew Barry, and I'm the Minister of Polytown and Thrumster Church. I'm recording this video to let you know about some of the things we're doing as a congregation to respond to the coronavirus crisis. You may have seen last week that we've had to cancel all of our upcoming services and formal activities as a church. We're doing this in response to the advice of the government and also the advice of the Church of Scotland. Last week we also managed to do another thing. I was away, but Rob Peterson, our mission development worker, and Ian McLean, our session clerk, phoned around all the vulnerable people in the church to see if they were safe and had everything that they needed. And we want to support them in an ongoing way. However, it may be that we have forgotten some people. So if you know of someone who is connected with the church or who needs help, please do let us know and we'd be happy to help them in any way that we can. Over the next few days we hope to do some more things. Firstly, we want to try and organise things so that we can have a service on Sunday. It won't be a normal service in the church, but we hope it will be a service online. Uh, details will follow as to how to access that, but we're going to try and make it as easy as possible for everyone to get involved in that on Sunday. Don't worry if you know folks who are not online or don't have technology. We're also going to make it available by telephone line and the number will appear for that soon. We're also happy as a church uh, to be available for people. This is a time where many folks are anxious and have worries, maybe need someone to talk to, they feel isolated, and we as a church are here for our community. So please do get in touch either through the Facebook page or the church website. I also want to say another couple of things. I want to encourage everyone in our community to be following the advice of the UK government. As a nation at the moment, uh, we have been encouraged to do a few things. Firstly, we've been asked to stop non-essential contact and stay at home wherever possible. If we have to go outside, say to buy food for example, uh, we should try and stay more than two metres apart from others. This is what is called social distancing. If you are displaying symptoms, flu-like symptoms such as a dry cough or a high temperature, we're asked to self-isolate so that we won't infect others. I also would encourage you to try and follow the news as to what is going on. Things are changing very quickly. There is a lot of misinformation out there at the moment. Please do try and use trusted news sources such as BBC, Sky News, ITV and Channel 4 and so on. One last thought though. I recognise that this is a very strange time. Hard for us all in many different ways. There'll be things in the next days and weeks and months that will make us think about big questions. And perhaps already we're realising things such as that we're not in control of our lives in the same way that we thought. In the church, we believe that God is in control. And more than being in control, he is working out his purposes, even through things as terrible as this virus. We also believe that he understands us. He knows us. He cares for us in a very deep way, more than we care for those that we worry about. We can know God's love for ourselves. He's revealed it to us. In fact, he's revealed himself to the person of his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus is the centre of Christianity and his cross is the centre of all that he has done. At the cross, we see that Jesus was ultimately isolated. He faced the judgment of God for the disease of sin that separates us from God. He did this, that we might not be cast away from God forever, but that we might be brought near and that we might know God's embrace. And if we accept God's love through Jesus, we believe we can know an embrace that is true and real, that can help us even through our darkest times and the most uncertain of times like the ones we're facing now. And that we can know God's love and care not just now, but for the rest of our lives and even beyond, that we can know God's love beyond this life, past the grave, 
and into a new life forever with him. Well, uh, please do keep safe in the meantime, and please do look out on the Church Facebook page and website for more information. Thanks very much.